When I'm out demonstrating, I get asked a lot about light source and which direction the light's coming from. If you're new to colouring, don't worry too much about which direction the light's coming from. I tend to say to people, as long as you've got light and dark, it doesn't really matter. If you've got light and dark, you're going to have depth and dimension to your project. If you look at this project, the light's coming from every direction, but I have areas of dark and I have areas of light. And that's, you know, that's the principle I stick by. Some people do like to have, you know, the correct direction, which, which is fine. And what I tend to do is decide where the light's going to come from and mark an X on my paper. So it's going to come from this right hand corner. My light source is coming from the right hand side. So over on this area, it would be a lot darker. So I'm just going to show you on this holly leaf, okay? And there's two holly leaves set above this one. So I'm going to go in, just feathering ever so lightly with my darkest colour, which is YG double double nine. Then I'm going to go in with YG95 and I'm going to start to blend my darkest colour out. Just using a feathering action. I'm going to go in now with YG93. Blending it all the time, going back over what I've just coloured. I'm going to blend it out with my YG91. So if you can see, it's dark here, but where the light's coming from, the direction the light's coming from, it's just catching the edge of the holly leaf. 